Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I would try the, I think it's called Apple Crisp Latte from Starbucks. So I'm almost there now. And I'm gonna get it half sweet because I know with Starbucks, in my opinion, for me, any one of their like flavored drinks or whatever with, with uh, syrup, it's always too sweet, so I always do half sweet. Just driving through the parking lot of a grocery, um, grocery store, so there's like so many people <laughs> crossing. It's a beautiful sunny day here, but it is cold, but because it's so sunny, the car is getting really hot and I actually just took off my jacket. I was sweating. It's only nine and a half degrees outside, but it is so hot in the car and I have my heat up. I'm gonna turn it down, it's just like so hot. So a crazy story, I'm actually at this Starbucks location because the Starbucks location that I usually go to there was actually a like drive I was gonna say drive through shooting but that's not true okay somebody was in the drive through and there was a shooting that took place like somebody came up to one of the cars and shot the driver in the head numerous times ran away and, and then got into a stolen vehicle um, and then I guess the police found that vehicle burnt, I don't know where, somewhere, somewhere nearby kind of. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that location's open today, um, so I just didn't want to like bother wasting my time going over there, only to find out it's shut, but oh my goodness, like I go to that location all the time, you guys. Um, it depends, like sometimes I will, I won't go for like a few weeks, but then sometimes I'll go like four days a week there, like. Sometimes I can go there often, and I I just can't imagine. I really hope there were no children sitting in any of the vehicles that were a witness to that because, like, could you imagine being a kid and witnessing that? That is so messed up. Um, yeah, it was, like, all over the news yesterday. It's crazy. That's It's so crazy. Like, that's the location I always go to. Um, just wild. Like, nobody else was hurt. It was a very, it was a total, like, targeted shooting but um, still, just wild. I had no idea, like Jay was saying he went, uh, he was driving by there and he's like, something went on around here. And um, I, ha I wouldn't have thought it was that. Yeah. My lips are really dry and I have no chapstick. I only have this lip gloss. I've had this forever actually. This is by CoverGirl. It's actually nice though. I really like it. It is, hmm, why is there no color over here? It's called Color, color why can't I talk? Colorishes, Colorishes, yes. Color, Colorlicious, sorry, Colorlicious. It's really hard to read, it's really small. I've done my errands and I have groceries in the car Actually, they've been in the car for a while, and I have some frozen items, and it's not good, and I need to get home. So, I, yeah. Isn't it crazy how much Kleenex in your vehicle will make dust go everywhere? Like, this one piece of Kleenex, just me opening up my purse, like, and having it move a little bit, and I can see dust on my dash and stuff. It's just wild. Kleenex is problematic. They need to create a Kleenex that does not, like make dust sorry I know that's annoying so yeah I'm getting my hair done tomorrow and I'm a little bit nervous because it's so weird like sometimes I won't like the color of my hair um, but then being away and seeing our pictures it's really weird like sometimes the 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 um, color of my hair will look so good I think it's really dependent on the lighting and then sometimes I seen a photo and I hate the photo so much I hate how my hair looks and then today everywhere I've been going if I pass by a mirror I really like my hair like I don't know what's going on so I really hope that I'm gonna like it after tomorrow hi 
Hi, can I please have a tall apple crisp, uh, is it apple crisp latte? Do you guys yeah. do? And can yeah. I? The apple crisp oat macchiato. Oh, does it have to be done with oat milk or can it be normal? No, no, it can be normal as well. Okay, I'll just have with, uh, whole milk if I can. And can I get it half sweet? And that's a tall one? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Anything else? Uh, no. It, it just comes with like two pumps of apple brown sugar syrup. Do you want like just one? Yes, please. Okay, okay. Is that everything for you? Yeah. Sounds good. That would be 572 at the window. Thank you. Thank you. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. I hope it's real. It's probably synthetic. I don't like, I normally never ever get a synthetic drink ever. Like synthetic flavoring or any syrups. But I do want to try this. And I got a Starbucks card actually from my neighbor. So I'm going to use this gift card and try this out. It's like a little treat. It's a little afternoon treat. It's really hot, you guys. Like, I feel like I need to put my AC on. Whew. So, yeah, um, like I was saying about my hair. So I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow. And I, I this lighting is, it's not. I can't show you guys because the sun's too bright but so I had uh, highlights previously and I really like just how natural they blended in and so basically that's what I want to get and I was doing the sun in and I really like the sun in the sun in color actually is super nice but I was thinking the sun in is gonna make it maybe too um, like I don't know like everywhere does this make sense not like highlights I don't know but the thing is I could actually just concentrate on highlights with the sun in but I'm wondering if it's going to go too brassy in the end. Like if, I don't know. And that's the whole thing is like the sun in actually is working so good. And I'm like, am I crazy to pay all this money for highlights when realistically I could do it with the sun in? So we'll see what happens. I'm really hoping, okay, this is better lighting. Do you guys see how it's just like a little, oh, now the, it was good for a second. Now the lighting's not good. <laughs> um, and then because I have it up here, this part's a little bit blonder. And I like I, that's all I want. I just want the tiniest bit put into my natural color just to break up my natural color a little bit because what I noticed in some of my photos is it looks very like blah right here. Like it can be a little too dark for me and just not flattering. I don't know. So I just need a like even this brightness. See this? This is actually a previously dyed piece. I just need like a little bit of that put in my hair and then. I think that'll be good. I mean, I'm really liking it today. Like, if I felt like I did when I... This is the thing. I book my appointments and I actually cancel often because I have to book so far away. It's, like, really frustrating. And then by the time it's, like, almost time for my appointment, I've changed my mind. But this time I was like, it doesn't matter. You're not changing your mind. But see, today and now I'm changing my mind. Just see how that happens. In my head today, I'm like, Danielle, like, you could have just kept going with the sun and... Um, yeah, so. But here we are. Do you guys like my rings? I have um, the snake ring, which I got when I was a teenager in Mexico. And then this one I got uh, this year. I really like it. Starbucks is really quiet. It's where there's actually cops here. Um, yeah. Just thinking about what happened. Okay, so let's try this drink. I hope she didn't touch the rim. I'm so scared of getting sick and it looked like she was kind of touching where I said. 
Hang on. It is just like, I gotta get out of this parking lot. I can't even drive here. There's just too many corners and too many people and oh, it's like very tight. See, it's still really sweet, and that's only one pump. I think it tastes really good. It's just like, um, it tastes exactly like mixing hot apple cider with coffee. <laughs> that's what it tastes like. It's nice. It's good. I'm so glad I, I got it only half sweet because it really is like the perfect amount of sweetness, I feel like. Um, the crappy thing is I feel like I can't taste the apple enough. It's good though. It's very fall flavored. Like it's very, that fall feeling, if that makes any sense. Mm, this is really good. You know what's so crazy is when we were away, I drank so much coffee and every night I would just pass out like and I can't do that here I don't know if it's because we were just so busy we were doing so much walking and I was just drained at the end of the day like I can't believe it I drank so much coffee I drank the most coffee I have ever drank in my life I never felt any heart palpitations um, he, when I'm here, I always feel heart palpitations. I was eating the most fattening food ever. Like, I was eating so much cheese, you guys. Oh my gosh, the butter. The butter in France is incredible. I don't know what goes on, but I would say when we drove to the country, like through the countryside, all of their dairy cows are outside in grass, like in pasture. And um, in Canada, that's not how it is. Dairy cows are, unless it's like maybe some, some, I'm sure like there's somebody that's raising their cows like this, but every single dairy farm I have seen in Canada, they are all in a building. They do not go outside ever. So um, it's like very special and expensive to have grass fed butter here or grass fed anything. But there, every single dairy farm I seen they were all outside like Holstein cows like you could tell they were dairy and um so that's really nice and I swear that's why their butter was so impeccable it was almost like chewy I can't explain this like I'm not joking I wanted to eat the butter alone it's just like I felt like a weirdo at a restaurant literally chewing on the butter like I <laughs> I just wanted to eat all the butter I would apply huge amounts of butter to anything I ate and I ate so much bread and the bread oh my god like ah the bread is not like here like the, every is this lady going across every um any bread I had anywhere was it tasted freshly baked like they bake it or they like they literally just picked it up from the bakery None of it was mass manufactured. You could tell, like you could taste it. And then we did have something somewhere. I can't remember. It was in a pinch that we got something. And I could tell, I'm like, this is mass produced. Like it wasn't very good. But you get, you get so used to having the high quality, fresh baked, like small bakery bread that you really notice when you have the mass produced. But in Canada, that's like all we eat pretty much is mass produced like there's not I don't even know of a bakery in my city that makes bread like I don't I don't like it's just not like that here I don't know I'm sure in Vancouver it's very different and you know you can go to your local bakery but here I know there must be somewhere but I don't know of any this lighting is really good see this is how I want my hair and it's it looks better today because this is up and I think that's why I'm liking 
my hair because it's putting a little bit of the blonde up more. But yeah, so just the dairy was incredible there and we would drink so much coffee and we would eat so much cheese. And I would say it's like almost impossible to find a meal without cheese. Like everything has cheese. I love cheese, so that was not a problem for me. But yeah, it's just wild like how much fat we were consuming and maybe I'm actually thinking that might help with the, how we digest and break down caffeine in our bodies and maybe that's why it was fine for us to have all the uh, coffee we were drinking. Anyways, I would say give this drink a try if you are looking for something different. Like the pumpkin spice latte I've had so many times. But this, I think, is brand new, so I was excited to try it. And I think it's really good. When you think about apple and coffee together, I feel like that is an odd combo that wouldn't taste good. You wouldn't think would taste good, but I think it actually tastes really good. It's really nice. So yeah, give it a try. Have a nice day. Thank you guys so much for watching.